Well, it looks like we're going to jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> and we have no intro for this. Let's get on with the, the show. Let's get on with the show. All right. I'm just going to say this is Trust Eat, the right of me. That's Eric Breen and Rogernot. You're all credited now. Yay. <laughs> right into the uh, well, let's go, man. Let's go. I, I am. I got to share okay. a screen. <laughs> you weren't here the, for the first read. You'll be fine. <laughs> that was a you short certainly reading. were not. <laughs> that was a shorter reading. Oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Action Comics. Featuring an extra pinup of Superman because that's what everybody wants, right? When there's a Supergirl backup story. A centerfold of Superman. Mid change. <clears throat> that was my nickname in college. Mid change. No, a centerfold of Superman. <laughs> Come on, Superman! Fight back! The more energy you use, the faster I can drain your strength into my body. Hey. Presenting the most dangerous villain Superman has ever faced in The Power of B. Arthur. Thank you for being an end friend. <laughs> Superman versus dun, 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 the son of Lady's son who moves dun, dun, home. <laughs> Breaker. <laughs> uh, okay, that is, I guess that is that. Whoop. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Superman. Introducing the most powerful foe Superman has ever faced. This time, the Man of Steel battles a human parasite who feeds on living energy like a vampire sucks blood. And not even Superman is mighty enough to resist the strength sapping power of the parasite. Who's a uh, Mr. Narrator? Who, who does the story? Why, a gentleman we just saw today, Jim Shooter. Who does the art? Why, that would be Al, not Plastic Man, Tino. I'm guessing you didn't see him. <laughs> no. Watch how easily I drain the energy from these men. Ooh. Just mm. like Elizabeth Taylor. Mm. <laughs> Just as I'll drain your superpowers into my body, Superman. Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> Great planets. He's right. I can feel myself <clears throat> weakening in the knees. But I must find a way to stop the parasite, even if it costs me my life. <laughs> That's a choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, it does. Yep. One day, as Superman concludes an atomic project at a government lab. <laughs> Go ahead, Rug. Would you look at that? Those radioactive elements from other galaxy would kill a normal person in seconds. But Superman doesn't even bother with the shielding. I think this might be a parasite before. I'm not sure. Brain. After all, he brought them to Earth himself. Ah, this <clears throat> acid will get me really stoned. It's the last one. Superman never uses protection. <laughs> Minutes later. Oh, finish, gentlemen. I decontaminated myself and sealed the atomic waste in the radiation proof container. <laughs> Thanks. I'll have a lab worker cut it out for safe disposal so he will die horribly in case you made a mistake. Now, back to the Daily Planet as Clark Kent. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the. Uh, okay. You're on the right side. I'll be this guy. Jensen, get the work, you loafer. Take the container to Waste Disposal Center. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. 
everybody always motherfucking order me around. I hate them all. <laughs> I fuck them up. I throw those words back. It's back. We're going to throw hands if I didn't need this celery. That's right. He pays me in vegetables. <laughs> Motherfucker. I was fired from three jobs last year. Couldn't have nothing to do with my sunny disposition. Can't afford. Say, this thing is heavy. Wonder what the fuck's in it. Do not open. <laughs> well, what do you know? I'm going to open it. <laughs> it says here, radioactive waste. Maybe. If I already use the shit payrolls like this to fool crooks, I'll peek inside. If it is radioactive, <laughs> I'll shut it quick because, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> ah, lock's given. As the larcenous laborer opens the container, he is bathed in strange <laughs> alien rays which penetrate to every cell of his body. Ah! <laughs> it slimed him. Shit. Correct. There. I closed it. But I feel like my body is exploding inside. Now, as if all my energy was used up, I'm faint. Suddenly, one of the lab's top scientists comes upon the limp figure. There you go, Rock. Which is quite rude. Jensen, did you open that waste container? You idiot. You might have contaminated the whole building. Or is some, something wrong with you? But when the technician touches the inert form... <laughs> oh, I feel groggy. I can't stand up. Oh. To his limp now, motherfucker. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> reviving. Shouldn't have had that pudding. I'm better now. But feel Dr. Strange. Different. <laughs> when he bad touched me, I got some energy. <laughs> and he got weak. But I'm still a little dizzy. Jensen. What happened to you? That container. I touched your shoulders. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Look at your hands. Your face. What? Ah. My full strength's back, and he's collapsing. In my brain, I'm getting as smart as he is. <laughs> Terrible smart. fashion sense. As the scientist's mentality flows into the brain of the transformed lab worker, realization dawns on him. <laughs> I drained him of his strength. And his mind, too. I have become a sort of parasite. <laughs> Perry the parasite. <laughs> but before someone else finds me, I'd better get out of here. Must think. My room's not far away. Wait a minute. I'm a badass now. Why am I thinking like this? But I'm getting dizzy again. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> that group of men outside. I wonder, am I gay? <laughs> hey, don't you know this area is restricted? Oof. Out of my way, chumps. It worked. They're all collapsing. And I have the strength of 20 men now. Soon, at Jensen's dingy rooming house. With the mentality I stole from those men, I figured out for his parasite power. The radiation did more than scar my face and body. It turned me into an atomic furnace. And damn, I'm smart now. In minutes, I burn up all the energy a normal body has. But I can replenish it. With the electrolytes. I just <laughs> 20 minutes and a cigarette, and I'm good to go. <laughs> By becoming a human parasite, knocking off a Chesterfield, and draining it from others, I can live indefinitely, become super strong by sapping the strength of the whole crowd. I can be the world's mightiest criminal, but when people learn to avoid me, and I can't recharge my power, I'll be doomed. Ooh, so, ooh, so ooh. why isn't Parasite gay in, in the current... 2024. It makes sense. He's draining guys of their energy. 
Meantime, in the office of Daily Planet editor Perry White. Perry, at this point, still white. <laughs> Where wants to take it? Daily Planet editor it's about Perry fine. White. You got here, Clark. What's your excuse? Uh, I ran into your wife and she wanted to make out. I mean, I had an unexpected emergency. A falling plane, which I had to save as Superman, you stupid old goat. Okay, just get over to the side of that hospital. Superman's building. Get on the side of that. Yeah, Superman's building on the north side of town. Lois is already there. I'm on my way, Perry. But I'd better think of an excuse for not being with Lois while I'm busy as Superman. <laughs> <laughs> a swift costume change in a stock room and... Now to get the north side odd, I have the strangest feeling something's about to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> and in Jensen Ackles' room... <clears throat> Ooh. I've calculated that the strength I've absorbed from all those Winchesters will last me a few more seasons. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll get a feature film, it'll fail terribly, and I'll do 12 more seasons of this shitty show. Yeah. What's this? I feel pretty. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And stronger. Immensely stronger. I feel power nearby. Beyond belief. Outside the window. It's Supperman. <laughs> you're, Supper feeling, you're feeling the power of white privilege. See, get it? Supper <laughs> Supper man, because I'm hungry and I steal energy. Supper man. Of course. Supper man. <laughs> when he passed by, I was able to sap some of his strength. And it gave me a terrific charge. I'm tingling all over. By stealing all his awesome energies, I could become invulnerable with enough power to last me forever. An ability to conquer the entire tri state area. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to the north side, huh? I always figured him that he'd be moving on up to the east side. Well, <laughs> the parasite will be there too. In a disguise. Daily Planet Superman to build a new hospital. Scoop the bugle again. Yep. Outside. Oh, for a moment I felt weak. I investigate, but I'm overdue a construction job. Shortly, at the building site. <laughs> Holy wrecking crew. Superman's left in that entire old tenement building with one hand. Hello! And Clark. I mean Clint. Clint, <laughs> I love you. Still hasn't shown up. Oh. Now that he's demolished the abandoned structure, he's going to get the materials to build the hospital. About no bye, my chance, my chance to slip <laughs> away and switch to Clark for a few moments. Seconds later. Well, where have you been, Clark? I always, I was going potty. <laughs> I hate to make poopy. I was late to getting to the office. No, no one noticed me. Here I am. Shadows don't see Superman. Oh, it's you. <laughs> no one noticed me watch the Superman make poopy. <laughs> In his poop wallet. I don't Super see <laughs> I don't see Superman. Super poop man. but I can wait. What's this? I feel strong. As if he were near. He's going to get these hands with pistol oh. fingers. Oh, I suddenly feel groggy. What's the matter, Clint? 
Only Superman's strength could affect me at this distance. He must be in the crowd in his secret identity. Don't you feel well, Clark? Something's stealing my strength and my IQ. Doesn't feel like kryptonite. That reporter is slumping. The one called Clark. He must be Superman. This changes my plans. I won't attack Superman now. I'll go to downtown Metropolis. Rob and plunder. Maybe get a better better suit to wear. And when Superman tackles me on my terms, I'll have a secret hold on him. His identity. Clark Kent, answer me. Are you ill? Got to switch away to Superman and investigate this and get pudding pop. <laughs> I'm fine, Lois. Just leave me alone, bitch. I Jeez. must find out what's causing my feminist. My weakness. Clark, wait. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get away from Dick Tracy. Moments later, in a deserted alley. A deserted alley? Oh, that's a nice. Someone or something in the crowd drained some of my strength. I was weakened, but now my super self have replenished my energy. When I finish building the hospital for special kids, I'll try to find who or what saved my special power. Sometime later, after the completion of the structure. Yeah, Superman, this new hospital will be a boon to our city. On behalf of, uh, what's wrong? Excuse me, Miss Mr. <clears throat> Mayor. I just made poopy. <laughs> <laughs> I also picked up a super hearing call on a nearby police car radio. There's a one-man crime wave in the heart of Gotham City. Gotham, Gotham City. City. Got Gotham City. <laughs> I better get there at once. Me too. That's right. I'm going to me too someone. <laughs> what a story! I, I'm not gonna say it again. Meanwhile, downtown, downtown, things will be great. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> By running through the crowds, I've gained fantastic strength. Nothing can stop me. Wait. What's that noise? The rhythm of the traffic in the city. <laughs> it's Superman. Good guess. Good guess, uh, Kyrie. Now surrender fast, Mr. Mister. I'm in no mood to waste time. Nice bags. Hold it right there. Drop those bags. And what is this? Oh, shit. I see you are feeling the first effects of my power. Skeletor, is it you? I, <laughs> no, I'm the parasite, remember? <laughs> you will remember that name, Superman. Yes. Because when I finish stealing your power, you won't live long enough to forget. Oh, Miguel, <laughs> I thought of this costume. I look terrible naked. And it makes me look more fearsome. I hope you enjoy this little visit, Superman. It'll be the last you'll ever have. Hey, Scott, he's slowly sapping my energy. I attack him me, me with my own power. Got to get up, fight back, but I'm still weak. How could he rob me of my strength? 
My power will sap your energy, Superman. Leaving yes. you weak and helpless while I become invincible and have my own show on HBO Max. Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to watch myself on TV. <laughs> Invulnerable, immortal. That's Disney. Will you please shut <laughs> up? With your power, Superman, I'll govern the world. <laughs> I must strike back before I'm battered into unconsciousness. My eye. That's right. I was a professional wrestler. I played a heel. Try to grapple with me. See? So I can steal your strength even faster. Oh, so weak. I can't hold out much longer. There's only one chance. I must make him believe I'm still strong. I'll treat him like mammoth. I'll force myself on him. I mean, force myself to rise. Sounds like the same thing. <laughs> no, you can't stand up. You can't. The parasite turns, panicked, to play his final trump. But... My plan backfired. How can I threaten to expose Superman's identity when I weaken everyone within hearing it on consciousness? Wait, what's this? Aha. It's Lois Lane, that bitch. Probably here to cover <laughs> my robberies. The police had this area cordoned off. But I don't see Clint anywhere. I won't have to expose Superman's identity yet. Should make the perfect hostage. A noise behind me. Eek! <laughs> like Who? That. What are you? Who is the Hulk? Stand right there, Miss Lane. Once I bad touch you, <laughs> you'll be too weak to resist. <laughs> no! I will not go to the Casbah with you. Superman! This is taking all my remaining strength, but I can't let him use this parasitic power on Lois. If I can just make it to the roof. But the it's roof. on fire! Yeah. Oh! You just ripped out my spleen! <laughs> uh, I should let you know, Lois, that people can survive without spleen. <clears throat> Shit, I've beaten Superman after all. He's <laughs> running away. What good does that do me? He's gonna be the one banging the babe. I'm, I'm gonna sit here by myself looking at my fist. I must fight him to the finish, steal all his power and his girl. I like I'm that. Low. Get him down here again. I like that. Lois has now got blonde hair. Those cams. Oh, you gotta fucking be kidding me. <laughs> I know more lines. Uh, uh, they're they're playing sledgehammer on on the weekend binge, but <laughs> what a shock! The channel's down again. That that should be good for another rate rate raise, though. Listen, Superman. I know Alta Fiber sucks, and your identity. Come down and battle me to a finish, <laughs> or I'll expose it to the world. He must have seen Clark Kent naked and his weekend stay in the hospital site. You can't go down there, Superman. Even you aren't strong enough to stop Alta Fiber from sucking. <laughs> I must, Lois. After all, he's not the Inquisition. The Inquisition. 
Summoning the last vestiges of his remaining strength, Superman prepares to face his deadly foe. Don't go, Clint! He's too powerful! You're all right. He's too powerful to remain unchecked. Goodbye, Lois. That may be the last goodbye, unless I can defeat that parasite. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Got your wish? A parasite? Perhaps. He's only stolen my strength. Maybe my heat vision will affect him. Thanks for the reminder, Superman. I'd forgotten I absorbed all your powers when I stole your strength. Ah, uh, I'm melting. Ha! I was a fool to flee from you before, Superman. Why, with just a mad fraction of my, I mean your power, I have reduced you to near helplessness. Great shades of Elvis. I've got Greg Landface. How can he survive these terrific blows? What can be holding him up when I've drained most of his power? Why am I wearing a diaper? <laughs> and this is how we get canceled. Gotta hold out. Gotta find some chink in his armor. No, he, he was in the first reading. I know. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> I, can't, I can't let him menace the world. Oh my. <laughs> well, I'm I'm desperate. I'll have to drain all no, that's me. Oh, oh it's you. <laughs> well, hey. I'm de I'm desperate. I'll have to say this quick before YouTube cancels me for that last crack. <laughs> which will result in <laughs> Superman's death. Or well, the strength I've stolen will wear off, and I'll grow weak again. <laughs> Perhaps if I can make it to Sesame Street. Running away won't help you, Superman. You're too feeble to get far. All you've done is to provide new weapons for me, Superman. Yes. I've stolen incalculable power from him. Enough to move mountains. Yet still he fights. Still he stands. His strength must be beyond belief. I don't know, but I'm not liking that backside photo. <laughs> That's disturbing. He's got more bats than Sue. In a pile of shattered glass and twisted metal, the weakened, near-unconscious man of steel slowly starts to rise. I can't take much more of this, and the parasite knows it. I need a plan of action. But what? I've hurled enough of his own power at him to destroy a dozen superheroes. What manner of man is he? Still, he has to give some time, and I'll continue stealing the power he has until he does. I have it. I can just get to my feet. Aha, he's finally collapsing. One more punch is all it'll take to finish you for good. Hey, Superman, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Now, I pretend to be weaker than I really am. <laughs> good, while he thinks that I'm helpless, I'll duck his knuckle below. What? You can't dodge my punch. You're done for. That's what you thought. Now. With ear-splitting concussion, Superman drives his foe into a wall. Oof. I must put everything I have into this blow. Then I'll sell it in Miami and make a lot of money. I may not get another chance. Next, I'll follow up and end the fight if my winning strength holds out. This is better work. I'm too groggy to do it again. 
nice, ineffectual try, Superman. Good night now. Ouch. It's a good thing he was so weak. His blow nearly stopped the entire cocaine trade on the Florida coast. <laughs> the last punch was all I needed. Now, as your final bit of power leaves you, and death is closing in on you, I'll amuse you by... I believe it is time to monologue. It's not even Wednesday yet. First, I, the parasite, will get revenge on the people who ordered me around. Then I, the parasite, will rob Fort Knox and the Bank of England. And not being from Krypton, I, I, not being from Krypton, thank you, I, the parasite, don't have your weakness to kryptonite. I, the parasite, only absorb your Stooges album. I'm invincible. Ah, my power is breaking down the last barrier of your invulnerability. Your super mentality is becoming mine. Greedy eyes gleam as Superman's innermost secrets stream into the parasite's brain. Then, suddenly, his expression changes to one of stark fear. Oh no! I'm out of stark lube! I must run! Get away from Superman! Yes. That's it. Keep thinking about Margaret Thatcher naked. Get all that full mental image in your mind. Milky. <laughs> I have to flee before I see <laughs> Margaret Thatcher naked again. Ah! Oh. Like a jar of sweet cream. He's gone, like Gone Girl. As the smoke clears, the earlier victims of the parasite slowly recover consciousness. Superman! I was afraid he'd kill Clint! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I must admit, he never did, Lois. I love him! <laughs> Yo, he was beaten by his own greed. He had enough power to <laughs> shake the world, but why he wanted immortality? <clears throat> Damn monkey. He didn't realize that though his parasitic ability allowed him to set my power, his his body was still immortal. It was too frail to contain the awesome energies he absorbed. The all too abrupt end. There is one short one. No, I just meant that the resolution of that story was oh. abrupt. The best wishes from your super power, Superman. Oh my gosh. Shazam! <laughs> look at that dude, look at that chest and the little arms. <laughs> that is that is on point. Eric Green, you wanna be Supergirl? I thought we were just doing the first one. This is yeah, the first I, one. I actually yeah. You gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I apologize. That's okay. Everybody have a wonderful night. I love you all. <laughs> I love you! Wrong! Thank you! <laughs> it's the short one. Okay. Uh, you want to be the main villain? The guy on the left is the main villain. Sure. All right. 
and a uh, brand newbie Supergirl. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> no, no. Stunning and brave. <laughs> These dummies represent our suspects. One of them is Supergirl. Mm. And we'll know which mm. one. Soon we will. Let's see how her costume and her hair looks on Linda Danvers. Also, it's very creepy you have all these mannequins that look like 50-year-old girls. It's old home week for Linda Supergirl Danvers when she returns to Midvale Orphanage for a reunion. But the fun and games include a dangerous guessing game. Dangerous for the Maid of Steel's secret identity, that is. Because a clever crook is on the verge of exposing our heroine's alter ego as he conducts the Supergirl identity hunt. I think his name is actually the, the fact hunter. <laughs> One day in early summer, Dick Malvern drives Linda Lee Danvers out to Midvale Orphanage. You want to be a, you want to be this Dick? You want to be a... Who are you talking to? Somebody's got to be this Dick. <laughs> I was going to say, trust me, you want to do one? All right, oh. I right, sure. <laughs> well, there it is, Linda. The old homestead where we were raised until we got adopted. <laughs> the two young people are welcomed by the headmistress, Mrs. Hart. Hi, Mrs. Hart. Remember us? Hello! <laughs> I could never forget either of you. I am so glad you could come to the reunion. You know... Every five years, I invite some of my former residents of the orphanage for a little get-together. But where's Clint? Clint, I love you. You're staying the weekend, aren't you? I'll show Dick to my room. <laughs> wow, look at the size of that chariot. I wonder who owns it. Another one. Hello! <laughs> Let Trusty do this one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yes! This is hot. How delightful to see you again. Uh, I'll just... Why? It's Susan Meadows, the famous stage actress. I never knew she came from Midvale Orphanage. You gave me so much encouragement when I was young, Mrs. Hart. I'll always be grateful. Good grief. Here comes a helicopter. It's about to Vic Morrow, Mrs. Hart. <laughs> this, this might be the Facts of Life episode. <laughs> <laughs> hello, I chartered this. <laughs> no, hello, I chartered this chopper to get him me here. Superman Bromas uh, pick me up tomorrow, hey, and fly me to the dentist convention in Metropolis. <laughs> That's Dr. Smallhead. I mean, Dr. Small, head of the <laughs> Dental Association. He was a Midvale orphan, too. I'm average size where it counts. <laughs> What a group of graduates you have here. I think I remember this young lady from news photos. I mean, news, not nude photos. Why, yes, Linda. I love her. She won the Miss Universe contest last year. Then that would mean nude photos of me would go for a fortune. <laughs> They'd flip. If they knew my biggest claim to fame was that I love Clay. <laughs> I can't. Another of Mrs. Hart's former charges arrives. Why, it's Philip Raines, my first boyfriend. You're in business of Star City, aren't you? <laughs> Star City! 
Yeah, Starson. That's, that's right, Mrs. Hart. Remember all those 47 minute increments we used to spend together? <laughs> I'm sorry for the time you wasted. But I'm in the costume jewelry business now. I have gift charm bracelets for you and the other ladies. And Cuffs. handcuffs for the men. <laughs> This is taking on a distinct Agatha Christie vibe. <laughs> Here you are, folks. Compliments of the Reigns Jewelry Company. Odd! These bracelets all have Supergirl charms on them. That's me! Because if you're reading this story, you've already forgotten. <laughs> because we're writing... For mentally challenged four-year-olds. In my insignia. In my super cat. Streaky. Bear. I mean, there's 80 page giant we could do with Supergirl. <laughs> no! As Mrs. Hart shows the new arrivals <clears throat> to their quarters. Linda, you smell wonderful. You must tell me what shampoo you use. And he'll be staying in my bedroom like all the others. <laughs> Gee, my hair smells terrific. <laughs> what memories this brings back of the day I landed on Earth and in Mrs. Hart's private boudoir. Soon... At another door. Here's where you'll be staying, Philip, in the basement. <clears throat> Thanks, Mrs. Hart. I want to take a shower before dinner. Ha cha cha. Want to join me? <laughs> but when Reigns is alone. They might think this, this is the bad guy, aren't you? It, 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 no, that, the bad guy was actually supposed to be trusty, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. oh my bad. Well, it doesn't make a difference to what you guys want to do. Take over. When, Move I, yeah. when, when I have my coat on, nobody would guess that I was wired for sound. Daddy. Alicia? Are we in this comic? No, my dear. I, I don't think we are. We never are. But I have a complete built-in transistorized radio. My tie clips the tuner, and my cufflinks are uh, the mic and earphone. Well, I'm back in my old room at the Midvale Orphanage, Fact Finder. I gave out the charm bracelets, like you said. <clears throat> that? <laughs> Good. Now keep your eyes peeled for reverence. Is to which of the girls there is Supergirl? My research investigation traced her that a few years back. Once we know her identity, we move in for the big play. I better sign off now. Oh, wait. Oh, Philip! Time for Hanky Panky! <laughs> I better sign off now. I suppose you think a little more highly of me now, don't you, Rick? I think I hear Mrs. Hart coming. Not yet. Soon, in the backyard of the orphanage. Major, aren't the children so sweet? They insisted on being my intention servants. <laughs> in cooking and serving the schlop for free. <clears throat> Is that Linda? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Elaine, Sally, Janice, Ethel, Lucy. <laughs> I'm home. Franklin, Linus. <laughs> Why is Franklin on the side of the table by himself? <laughs> all you are, you are racist. It's good to see you all. I'm engaged, mm. oh, Linda. Yeah. Or, 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 I don't care. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm engaged, Linda. Wait till I tell you about him. 
Well, that tells me this is an old DC comic. Hmm. <laughs> there are several girls. Any of them could be Supergirl. Why couldn't they be Superman? I don't know, but that's Alfred down there. Why is he at the table? <laughs> Air Force Major Wood tunes in his portable TV set. Is this the bad guy? No. This picture was relayed from the U.S. space mission orbiting the moon. It shows Captain Jerry... Uh, Eric Breen's friend had drift in space after his lifeline snapped during his spacewalk to the Comic-Con uh, to drop off a flag to the moon surface. Great guns! Poor Jerry! Good thing I never liked this son of a bitch! <laughs> his compressed air gun used for maneuvering has <clears throat> jammed. A strawberry kind. Or it might be red reports it might be raspberry as well. That capsule can't go to him because it barely has enough fuel for the trip return trip. Clint's away So that leaves it up to me. I'll need cover Ah the smoke from the barbecue I'll draw it here with my vacuum breath. <laughs> It's made me so popular with the boys. <laughs> That's why Richard goes by Dick. <laughs> My nicknames for her is my little Swedish and larger baby. Cough, cough. This smoke is awful. I just came to this orphanage. And I cannot see a thing. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Alicia. <clears throat> Including my identity change. The smoke screens a perfect cover as I give everyone here emphysema. But as the maid of steel streaks towards the moon. Uh oh. I can't get near the capsule or the astronaut because they're both surrounded by kryptonite meteors. What are the odds? That green K can kill me if I get too close to it. Yet I must save Captain Hawes. Wait. I have a brainstorm. <laughs> the flag he planted on the moon. You can't kill him. <laughs> I'll just use a little super pressure to impale him. <laughs> I mean, draw this metal flagpole out to great length. <laughs> I'm good at this. Just ask Richard. I'll ask the horse. And <laughs> use it to nudge the spaceman back to his ship. Ah, it's working. And it's doing something for me, too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's safe now. <clears throat> I'll just leave this giant flagpole as it is. And then go back and mock Richard's size. <laughs> A memento of the moon orbit. Here's where we all feel sorry for the flagpole, guys. <laughs> Seconds later. Good. The smoke hasn't cleared yet. They should all be just about dead. <laughs> I'll be able to switch back to Linda before I'm missed. When Supergirl has resumed her Linda identity and puffed the smoke away with her super breath. Flash! Ah, uh, 
Captain Hawes was just rescued by a Supergirl. Hooray! Is Jerry dead? I don't <laughs> like that son of a bitch. Supergirly. And she did it just when the smoke kept us from seeing if one of the girls here changed identities. Moments after. Elaine! <laughs> what happened to you? I was blinded by the smoke. It wandered off into the woods and frolicked naked. But I'm alt right now. Well, maybe she slipped away to do that rescue bit as Supergirl. Hmm. She's a blonde, too. After dinner. Hello! Tomorrow, we're going to have a treasure hunt. Each of you will team up with one of the children. Except for the creepy guy over there who hides behind the bushes and says, find my treasure. Mr. Epstein, you're with little Jimmy. <laughs> I'll volunteer for that job. I knew you were pervert. So we're going to play hide the treasure with underage children. Then we'll place the hunting yacht perverted hands, Philip. <laughs> Find some good hiding places for the children and pick up clever clues for others to follow as <laughs> Is Black Manta in this book? <laughs> It'll be a pleasure, Mrs. Hart. Such a nice man. But soon, a short distance away. Yeah, Fact Finder. It's a perfect setup to trap Supergirl. My number one suspect is Elaine Sterling. I'll give her a clue that... Leads her into this quicksand spot I remember from my boyhood at the orphanage. That's where his other friend died. Early next morning, the treasure hunt begins. Our clue says, for your treasure, go and seek high below. It was that seek high up. Oh, no, this isn't the Zack version. <laughs> Sharon! Listen to our Cindy. Through the wilds to a place that's clear. Walk right in and cover your rear. I mean, have no fear. <laughs> I think I'll tag along and watch the hunt, Mrs. Art. <laughs> Reigns joins the fact finder, and the two wait at the quicksand pit. I bet this is the clearing the clue meant. I'll let the little girl go first. If she's Supergirl, she'll fly out. If she's not, I'll pull her out of the quicksand. Scout's on her. <laughs> that guy's a... Uh... You see the hairline, it's getting worse by the beach page. Quick, son. Stay back, Cindy. <laughs> what, you're leaving? You, you bitch, come back. <laughs> On a nearby hill. You were right, Linda. High below meant the treasure was buried on top of a hill. <laughs> The earth's loose here. I can't know. Is this supposed to be me or the little girl? Yeah. Ow, bitch. Goodness. Elaine's in trouble. Stay here, Sharon. I'll er, pretend to get someone to aid her while she sinks to her death. A costume switch in seclusion. And... Hang on! 
I'm coming to push your head under. Scissor girl. I mean, super girl. Yo, that goes uh, your number one suspect. See? But there are four other possibilities. And the boys are keeping an eye on three of them. And when they check with the other crooks. Go ahead. Uh, you, you, you can scratch Ethel Harris. I was watching her every minute. Well, well, I was scratching Ethel Harris and she slapped my face. <laughs> but, but I love Sidey Linda Danvers and Janice Tyler stayed at the orphanage. I know I watched her shower. Yeah, the, the same goes for <laughs> Sally King. You got to see Sally? Oh, man. I snuck her through the alley. <laughs> Up comes the wife. <laughs> then one of them has to be a super girl. And we know she's in the vicinity. We just saw her. Weren't you black just a moment ago? I'm black French. It... it in a, in a mid sixties DC comic, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> but the conspirators are unaware that they now have an eavesdropper. What's this? Reigns is with the fact finder, a professional blackmailer. That's as close to black as we got in those days. I'll see what their next move is with my telescopic vision and super eavesdropping. Yo, I have a super girl autograph. Shit, we'll check here against the orphanage records and see which girl here has the same handwriting. At super speed, the maid of steel flashes to the filing cabinets containing the records. The files couldn't give me away. Superman taught me always to disguise my handwriting when I'm in my Linda identity. But I'll fake some documents to make them think that I don't love Clint, but I do. <laughs> Girl really hates Janice, though. Yeah, yeah. She's a bitch. And so, minutes later, yo, this shit is whack. It said Janice Tyler's handwriting exactly matches Supergirl's. Great. She's the student nurse who stayed behind to make that calendar and take care of the babies in the nursery during the treasure hunt. I'll get her. Wait, she the one with the only fans? She's in, the she's in this February. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Soon, in the nursery. Janice, Mrs. Hart had the bed to fall while inspecting the basement fallout shelter. <laughs> Hello, just a minute. I'll be right with you. As I devour this baby first. Nice mans. <laughs> As Janice hurries down into the shelter... Dr. Strange? Hey, I don't see Mrs. Hart. Hey, what is this shit? Slam. Outside. <laughs> we know you're Supergirl, Janice. We've cut off the shelter's air supply, so you're all out of love. When you come out there alive in a few hours, it'll prove who you are. Or if you don't want to wait... Chandler, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is a supergirl. <clears throat> I don't want to wait. Yo, this cinch is it. This bitch really is supergirl. Happy to be here. All right. 
spill it. Other than the fact that I've lifted you off the ground, how would you know who I am? Oof. They call me the Fact Finder. And blackmail is my game, honey. I set up to track you down and your identity, and the trails led me right here. Before you were known in the world, there were mysterious super doings here. Obviously, your your work with your superpowers, you can pay plenty to keep us from uh, spilling your secret. Hey, Waddy. But I faked the evidence in the files, just like I faked every orgasm. <laughs> There's the real Janice out there. Out, oh, Chandler. <laughs> Good news. Sledgehammer is back on. I'll be watching you from now on. So don't try any more Zack Mail schemes. <laughs> Psst. She'll pay up yet to keep us quiet. Now we know she has to be Linda Danvers. But when the others return from the treasure hunt and dinner is served, with Reigns' friend invited, <clears throat> and friend invited, Thank you! Ow! <clears throat> this Peter Wisdom Tooth is killing me! Huh? But she can't have a toothache if... Rex, it's a Bagwell bluff. A bluff Bagwell. Bluff Bagwell? <laughs> Come into the infirmary, Linda. I'll have a look at you I and the tooth. <laughs> With my x-ray vision, I can safely say... All right, Dr. Small. <laughs> Yo, she's in a trap now. <clears throat> I find out all her teeth are gone. She's all gums. And invulnerable. However, a few minutes later... <laughs> uh, well, this is the two that was giving you all the trouble, eh, Linda? Thanks so much for pulling it, Doctor. Holy Toledo. What kind of tooth is that? <laughs> I would much. like to have done the same for you, Doctor Small. I can work wonders with a flagpole. <laughs> Your chuckle headed boob. In fact, find her my ass. Linda were Supergirl, he couldn't have pulled her tooth. I never should have let you talk me into this crooked deal. <laughs> oh, Stimpy, <laughs> I don't get it. Am I losing my touch? Maybe I should quit the blackmail business. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Ren! <laughs> <laughs> and when Linda and... Doctor Unfortunately Small are all alone. Thanks for the assist, cousin. Your dentist act sure put our hoax over. And they'll never realize <clears throat> that we had sex. And I was your cousin. Hey, hey, I'm not the real Dr. Smallwood. I'm Largewood. I'm going back to Metropolis. As I had promised him I would. Well, we are both from... Cryptucky. <laughs> Yo, just call me Biggie Small. <laughs> call me Hardwood. <laughs> Nor that I told you my problem via super ventriloquism and you prepared that disguise and the fake tooth, Clint. Thanks again. My pleasure, sweet <clears throat> cheeks. <laughs> you can have a real holiday with your and friends and the old from kids. Shit, now that you're rid of the phony toothache and a couple of genuine pains in the neck, 
Say no more. The, the end. And that's it for tonight. If you stayed around this long, I'm surprised. And if you're planning on staying more, uh, we're leaving. Uh, nine people watching. I got wow. I gotta say, these Silver Age really draws in the crowd. Well, th three of them are from YouTube. You know, probably deciding how quickly to pull the plug on this. And we're at ten as soon as we end it. <laughs> oh, look! It's from Standards and Practice. <laughs> Oh, thank you for showing up, Elk Glenzer. How's it going, little Rhaegar? Uh, MKF saying, why does he sound so hood? <laughs> I don't know. Wiggity whack. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then we had somebody I'm watching on Twitch, too. Some Someone named Moxie1525. If beauty were eternal, you would be infinity. I'm charmed that you think that. I don't know what it means, but I'll take it. And, uh, because <laughs> he was a born a poor black child. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the jerk, the jerk. Boy, I see. <laughs> Somebody found out. <laughs> oh, man. If you guys have already done so, please click like, uh, comment down below, let us know what you thought of this. Do you want more action comic stuff like this? Uh, so, or just more Silver Age in general, hokiness, maybe some maybe some Aqualad or Aquaman. We, we, might, Aqualad. Even go back to, we might even go back to the original Teen Titans. Bring in, bring in some uh, Jasper for y'all. Those were always fun. Yes. It's been a while since we've done those. I uh, just, like I said, it just got to make sure that everybody shows up. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, I do miss uh, Roy, who's on, on heroin. <laughs> 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 I mean, I miss Roy. Not, not, not. Drugs are bad, kid. Uh, anyway, thank you for showing up, and we'll see you now. Uh, we'll see you, see you real soon. There's a Monday night reading. At 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the next two issues, issues five and six, with Shadow the Hedgehog coming up and facing off against Sonic. Will so, it feature the Lester sisters? I think it might. And maybe Marania. Oh, cool. And Zach. Night Courts on this episode. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> anyway, have a good night, guys. Later. Arrivederci. Yes. I bid you adieu. <laughs>